What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys tuning in for a new video. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. You know, we're really trying to grow this channel right now and uh, putting out three videos a week. All of it is designed to help you guys catch more bass. You know, that's the goal of my whole channel is I want to help you guys, the viewers, the subscribers, help catch more bass. That's what this is all about. So hopefully you guys can learn something from today's video, but today we're going to talk about sort of a new new jig head that I have found for uh, you know your forward facing sonar jig head minnow your Yamamoto scope shad as I like to throw just kind of a new jig head that I've been messing around with you know I've seen this around a little bit and I want to mess around with this show you guys through this and 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 I think this may be the future of the jig head minnow so I just kind of want to walk you through that how to rig it and uh, you know my thoughts on it so Kind of a, an interesting setup here, so I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. So make sure you drop it in the comments below what you think about this, this rig here. But uh, if you guys are ready, let's jump in, rig it up, and uh, I'll show you all about it. Okay, so this is a very interesting jig head. I guess you would call this a jig head. It, it's it's very unique it is a line through jig head so basically you have that right there but there's no line tie you know that is that is a jig head with a screw lock on there nice eyes but there's no line tie you run your line through there and it comes out the bottom and then you attach it to a swivel a treble hook something like that so it's very unique you know no line tie does a couple things one you know it'll come through cover better because that's not going to get hung up right there it you know it adds some more gap to your hook because you don't have that line tie sticking up off of the the jig head or the head you know the lead part that's closing that distance between there and the hook point so it gives you a little more gap and uh you know it, it's a very unique setup you know i actually saw these in uh, the the top 10 baits photos from a major league fishing tournament and i was like i gotta pick some of these up and just kind of see what they're all about you know see if this could be the future of the jig head minnow so i went ahead and ordered some and uh we're gonna dive in i'm gonna show you guys how to rig it up first and then i'll kind of give you my thoughts on it afterwards so like i said rigging it up is very interesting okay like i said there's no line tie so you run your line through here just like that, but there's nothing from stopping that, from sliding way up and down there. So what you need to do is add a bobber stop to your line first. So let me dig out a bobber stop. I forgot to grab one of those. I got these right here, the Epic Baits football pegs. So that's gonna be your first step. It's you know put on a, a peg onto your line you just run it through the little loop pull it through so now you got a peg on there which is basically for this to stop so once we're all done rigging this we're going to pull this bobber stop back down against the bait so then you know it's not going to slide way up your line and kind of mess things up so okay we got our bobber stop on next up I always like to cut that line off wherever you pinched it to put the bobber stop on. Next up, the, the jig head or this kit comes with a little swivel. So you tie that little swivel onto your line and that's gonna be your, your connection point right there. So I'm just gonna tie a quick improved clinch knot here. Just cause I feel like it's easy, especially with a swivel, okay. Let's go like that right there. Okay, so there's your swivel like that. And your bobber stop down against the bait. Okay, so now, you know, we'll let's rig up a bait real quick. That way we can kind of see the profile. So I got my Yamamoto scope shad. You guys always see me using those, but you're gonna rig this up just like you would a any other jig head with a screw lock. You're gonna 
thread it on till it hits the screw lock and then start twisting twist him up over the screw lock so I, I do like the screw lock you know that helps keep the bait on there a lot better helps it last longer catch more fish um, but you can't use it with all plastic so Yamamoto plastics work great on the screw lock but if you're using more of the stretchy style plastics they don't really like to uh, screw up on those screw locks right there so there's the setup right there so this right here is ready to fish you could fish it just like this um, you know you could you could go out and throw this anywhere you want just like this right now but the cool thing is now you have this swivel down here that you can add certain things on. So also included in the package is a couple little split rings like this. So that gives you options. You can add a, a little blade, kind of turn it into a, an underspin style bait. Or if you guys know me, you know I love adding stinger hooks. So we're gonna take a little Trocar TK934, nice little round bend style treble hook add it to the split ring and then to that swivel. So this is gonna be a little tricky to do on camera. So I'm just gonna do this real quick um, and then show you guys the end result. So I'm gonna start the split ring on the treble hook and get it threaded just a little bit. And then also, oh, let's add a little slack there go right into the, the swivel as well. And now I only have to rotate the split ring once. I can put them both on at the same time, just like that. So, okay, so now I've attached the, the treble hook there and you're able to, to bring him back and you know kind of hang him in the bottom. So now you've added a treble hook stinger to the bottom, to the back. You could even move him you know, since it's a line through and you're free, you could you could pull him way back, further back into the bait if you'd like, you know, like that. So now you got a, a hook further back. And, you know, that's just another option if those fish are short striking you, or, you know, you're, you're those fish are just nipping at your bait, they're not eating it real good. This is just another option. You still have your, your standard one jig hook on the top that could stick them if they eat it good, but if they just nip at it, you got that treble hook that can connect that you know just kind of you know if they swipe at it just kind of nip them and uh, you know that'll help put the fish in the boat it's just another added level of security and if you guys know me you know i love throwing different style stinger hooks so that right there that's the setup and i'm curious what's your guys thoughts you think this could be the future of the jig head minnow i don't know i'm still on the fence so you know, my initial thoughts with this is, you know, it adds a lot of a lot of bulk and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of hardware to a bait that's usually pretty non-intrusive that, uh, you know, it doesn't really look very natural with all of these this hardware hanging off there. So I'm a little skeptical on that. And the other issue that I've found with this jig head is it doesn't want to, to roll as much as it would if it was just straight a ball head jig head. You know, you got that extra weight on the bottom and that extra drag through the water. So it doesn't allow that bait to rock side to side as much when you're shaking it. You know, this bait likes to swim straight a lot more, which can be a positive. You know, some situations where I, I could see myself using this would be, you know, a fish were schooling it's fast and furious and I just want to get a bait out there hop it real quick I'm not real worried about a finesse shaking or rolling presentation I just want to get it out there and sometimes they're gonna roll on it and nip it I could really see this rig right here coming into play but as far as your forward-facing sonar Demiki rig stuff <clears throat> I'm not so sure this is the the best option out there but it's definitely a good option to keep in your tackle box and uh, hopefully you guys learned something from this video. I'm curious your thoughts, so drop it in the comments down below on what you think of this. What is this called? This is uh, the Line Through Finesse Jig Head. Minnow Swim Bait Jig Head. It's made by uh, Renew Tackle. I just got them right off of their website, but uh, it's a very interesting setup. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.